Hi everyone, welcome to Show It Better. In today's video, we are going to see how to create these uh, Kuzark post-digital style drawing images that are very famous nowadays. You guys can see them in your in some very famous architecture offices or in your Arc Daily feed or in your Instagram feed. So yeah, they're very famous nowadays. So let's get started. In this occasion, we're going to do an interior style image of a house I quickly modeled in SketchUp. Now what we want to do is put our um, our SketchUp model in white line mode and we're going to export this white line to our Photoshop file. As you guys can see, my 3D model doesn't have too much detail in it. The majority of the detail we are going to put it in Photoshop. So you want to export this as a JPEG, PNG or PDF file in a very high resolution or the, the resolution that you need for your presentation board or your digital drawing. And, so, and once we export this image, we are going to import it in Photoshop and start importing the textures. So as you guys can see, um, many of the style of these images are not, you know, sometimes are not, you know, uh, precisely accommodated to the perspective, meaning that uh, some uh, furniture, some chairs, some tables, are just you know looked up in the internet and placed there without uh, the perspective uh, mattering too much, right? So we're going to do the majority of this in Photoshop. Now we're going to look for our floor texture, which is a wood texture, in Google, and we're going to import it to our Photoshop file, duplicate it, and um, by using Control T on our keyboard, we are going to accommodate it to the perspective, right? What we want to make sure of is that these textures don't have too much contrast between them, right? So that the light parts of the texture and the dark parts of the texture don't have too much difference. Now we're going to look for a concrete texture. You want to use your Google tools so that the textures that you are looking for appear in a high resolution image, right? Once you start importing these textures, at first we are not going to worry a lot about each texture overlapping and the next step what, that we're going to do is we're going to refine this selection so it can be very precise and fit in a very perfect way right So as you guys can see here, I have the textures of each of the walls and the ceilings. Now what we're going to do is turn off these layers and um, obviously name the layers and go to our line tool and start selecting the floor, the walls and the ceiling right in a, in a separate part. So you're going to press la the lasso tool or the L on your keyboard and we're going to select only the floor. Once we select only the floor, we're going to, we're going to press Control Shift I on our keyboard and erase everything that is outside of the wood texture layer. And we're going to do the same thing with our wall layers and our ceiling layers. Since this is an interior image, you know this is it's not, not a process that takes a lot of time. Uh, but if you have an exterior render or uh, an image with that has a different textures, different sides of the wall, if you have a render ID, it would be much better to export your image with a render ID as well. As you guys can see here, we have our base textures, our ceiling, wall, and floor textures. And what we're going to do first is uh, perhaps lighten all the textures up a little bit, right? So once once we can press Control U on our keyboard and the lightness uh, tool, we can bring it a little bit up. So there's a little bit, con a little less contrast between all these images and it has a more of a pasty color, so it doesn't have too much contrast, right? Remember that that's the secret of these images, that they are just very artistic images, very subtle, very, very sensitive images. 
I'm going. I'm also adding some uh, some architect architectural details to the walls so that everything doesn't look so so planar and it has a little bit of depth to the image. And I'm going to also darken uh, all the wood door frames and the window frames a little bit, right? So I can just use an adjustment tool, a brightness and contrast adjustment tool, and uh, select everything that is in the door frames and just turn the brightness a little bit down. And we're going to do the same thing with our window frame. As you guys can see, these are very simple tools. But, you know, the, the magic of this is that it's completely opposite of what you would do with a render, right? So this doesn't have a lot of ambient shadows. It doesn't have a lot of shadows, a lot of natural light. It just has the important things, right? What are the important things? The textures, the materials, the, the sensibility of the image and the feeling you want to achieve. Now we're going to look for our door texture and we're going to import it. First, I want to change the color of the door. I'm going to press Control U on my keyboard, press Colorize, and I'm going to make it a more of a bluish color, right? Now we can press Control T on these textures and start accommod accommodating them to the perspective of the image, right? As you guys can see here on the screen. Now, as you guys are starting to see here, you know, the textures that the, the colors that we're achieving are very pasty colors. So remember to use very pasty colors, you know, sometimes primary colors. We don't want colors that stand out too much. Um, we are going to look for our uh, background texture, a landscape background texture. Uh, that is a very simple background texture. We want it to be, uh, you know, very, you know, not so much, not so notorious, just in the background, just so people can see that the house is located in a very mountainous um, farm-like uh, place right and we are also going to add some window frames and as you guys can see the majority of things that we're doing in modeling are in Photoshop that's more or less the style and the place these images are being done when in Now I'm going to look for a carpet, an Arabian carpet, which is also one of the, you know, the famous cliches of these style, of these images, right? It has a, a carpet, some wood floors, some concrete, concrete textures. That was, those are more or less the things that make these images the their artsy style, right? And I'm going to accommodate the this carpet to the perspective by also using Control T on our keyboard. And I'm going to start to color in these uh, nice uh, Eames uh, chairs. Um, I'm just going to select the lasso tool and color them in with a white brush and color their, uh, their whole base structure with a wooden color, right? So it just has a little bit of, a, of that wood color we are achieving with the wood floor. Now remember these images, you know, they, there's not a general rule to them, you know, many people do it in very different ways and we want to respect that as well, right? There are different methods of achieving them and uh, yeah, so now we're going to look for our plants. The plants are a very important part of, uh, of these images and we want, we're going to look for interior plants that have a white background so we can erase this background very easily, right? So as you guys can see here, um, all, all of these textures, I googled them and I found them, you know, almost in the first searches, right? Remember, you want to go to your tools in Google and make the images that you search for a large resolution, right? So they fit perfectly into your image and they don't, they don't look pixelated or in a low quality. Once you start importing these uh, plants, you want to make them in a very symmetrical mode. Also, one of the one of the characteristics of these style of the images are that they are very symmetrical. They are very classical in their composition and in their style. So that's what the thing that we want to respect. We are going to look uh, next for some light fixtures. So you know we can balance the ceiling with the floor, you know, with the carpet floor. And so I just found some light fixtures on the internet again with a white background so it could be easily 
uh, erased and we're just going to put you know these two lamps you know one in the fore one in the background and one in the foreground and finally i think we're going to look for a person that is just going to finish to tell the story of this image right we want to find people that are more vintage-esque looking not so much uh you know in a very 3d way so i have uh, this big uh library of people and i'm just going to start i'm just gonna just start to see i think a woman would be nice i tried with a girl but she looked too much like the girl from the ring <laughs> so i'm just going to get a a mom style image and put her in the frame right i just want her to look out the window we want to avoid people that are looking to the camera right remember that's a very big point when, when you have a person that's looking into the camera that person gets all the attention all the attention and the viewer you know gets distracted and doesn't look at the architecture too much so the person i found is very perfect because it has these these nice orangey and reddish colors that make a perfect contrast with all the pastel colors that we have used before right so this relates uh, perfectly to the arabian carpet and that's basically it you know that's she's a that's a perfect perfect image that we just found and i think i'm going to leave the image like this for now right i think this uh this is a nice representation of what these uh, post digital drawings uh basically do right remember when you guys do these in an exterior view it changes a lot right so it's a much more vegetation uh, but the basics are the same right we want things that don't have too much shadows in them too much contrast we just want colors that go with each other colors that are more or less pastyish you know uh, the pinks the blues you know those soft greens those are perfect colors right so this is more or less how we can do an interior style of these images if you guys like this video uh, and if you want to do want to see how to make an exterior style of these images please leave it in the comments below or um, leave in the comments what uh, other video ideas you what you guys would like to see here thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video Remember, you can download this file in the description below and have a great day.